first and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Once again, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth and well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect that scatter abroad. All right, headline prophecy. <clears throat> we're showing you that we're at the end of this, this man's kingdom, Esau, Edom. Okay. And everything that, you know, that's written in the Bible will come to pass. Okay. And we're at the end of this man's kingdom. This is why you see all these things that's going on in the world. You know, war in the Middle East. Okay, upwards of the people, earthquakes, storms. But the main thing is the MOTB. Okay, that's written in Revelation 13. Okay, and it says WEF, which stands for World Economic Forum. It says kids must have microchips installed in their brains to help pre-bunk conspiracy theories. All right, and this is all cold words. Because this is all, this is a, a tactic in the slithering way of Esau, the serpent, the so-called white man, woman, and child. This is how they're going to, you know, um, deceive the people to take it. Deceive the people to, you know, let's say autism, any medical conditions, you know. And this is how they're going to use it. A, to put an MOTB in, into their brain or in their hand, okay? As is written in Revelation 13. Now it says, WEF has announced plans to install C-HIPs in children's brains in order to protect them from misinformation and disinformation, all right? And this is how they're going to get the masses of, masses of the people, man. All right? So before we go in deeper into this article let's go to revelation 13 all right and each and every day yahweh Shai, which is the true name of the heavenly father and his son is making things known and and showing you every day closer and closer that we're at the end of this man's rulership this is revelation 13 they can start at verse 14. It says, And deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Okay. And guess what? Those miracles are going to be making, you know, handicapped people walking, the blind to see. All right. All your, you know, your brain problems, you know, certain diseases, they're going to go away. Because remember, this man wants to be like the most high. He said, if in the temple of the Most High, thinking that he is the Most High, okay? And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, has given him this power to make this instrument to mark the people for the Lord's agenda, okay? At the end of the day, this is the Lord's movie, all right? This is Yahweh Shai's movie, okay? And what he wants done, okay? It says, in which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast that they which had the womb by the sword and did live all right this image of the beast is the new world order all right this is rome revive all right america is rome revive man the new rome all right 2.0 all right and this a hey, this is why we're at the last leg the last end of this man's this rulership okay and he's going to do anything by his means to, to keep it running. The Lord has literally put this man, his head in, in pride to be able to not, you know, uh, just like as Pharaoh, man. Nothing new under the sun, man. Just so Yahweh Basham Shah could show you his power, to show you his judgment, to show you what he's about to do upon this earth. Because you see, people don't fear the Lord. People don't fear the God of the Bible. People think God of the Bible is sweet, fruity, you know, love everybody, has a Barney spirit. 
Hey, but people are still want to find out. The Lord don't love everybody. Okay? And he's not a respecter of persons. All right? And he leads everybody the path that he wants them to lead down to, man. Okay? See, how about Shemiah Shai is about to judge a lot of you people, man. And I'm talking to Jake, first and foremost. Israel. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because y'all are the main rebellion, rebellious people that don't want to get right, man. Knowing what, knowing that the Lord has his hand out right now. We're at a, during at the time of grace. But yet, our people don't want to repent. And see, that's all part of the story, man. Because two-thirds of our people is not going to come back. All right? Verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, all right, which is the new world order, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right, and this is gonna and this is gonna be the hour of temptation. Okay, where you're not gonna be able to eat, participate in society if you do not have the sea hip. If you not bow down to, you know, this NWO. Hey, man, we're getting closer and closer during the time of the election. Which why I say what? About what? Three, four weeks. Right? Some, something like that. Okay. And, you know, down here in Tampa, Florida, man, it's nothing but things going on, man. Okay. And really all around the all around this country. All around the world. All right. But see, they went for that. They went if the least is waiting for the, the that perfect time to push out that agenda, man. To make everything mandated. <coughs> and we're here watching and telling you, hey, Esau is telling you right in your face, man. They want to put brain implants, they want to put, you know, chips to be able to buy or sell. This is all leading the biblical prophecy. Okay. So it says, hey, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. A lot of people are going to fold and take this chip, but the elect, it will not. Okay. There, hey, there's some that may not taste of death, as the scriptures say, and there's some that may be martyrs. Hey, but knowing we understand death. Okay, we understand what's this about. And if that's if and if that be our route, hey, the Lord will be with us, man. The Lord will give us a crown. The Lord will raise up raise his men up first. All right? Because we stood so stiffly. Let's grab that. This is second Ezra's two. <laughs> And uh, verse 46, it says, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and given them palms in their hands? Okay, this young person be Yahweh Okay, remember, he's a God. He's immortal. All right, he, he got the reward. He's been changed. Okay, and, he, and he's back to that young person. And guess what? He, he got crowns in his hands to give to his elect. Okay, that stood stiffly. All right. Hold thy fast. Let no man take thy crown, man. And even when we're faced with the, you know, no food, no water for a while. Hey, man, I don't mean to fold up, man. The Lord, Lord put tests in front of us each and every day. All right. Um, it says, what young person is it that crown of them and given them palms in their hands? All right. Gifts. All right, it says, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world. All right, who who's confessing the, the name of the Lord, his doctrine, 100 percent in the world, man, the prophets, man, the 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 hopeful elect. All right, starting with our leaders. All right, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. OK, and hey, we've been confessing. The name of the Lord, his doctrine, and what he's about to do in the world. And we make it public. Okay? We publicize his name, 
what he's his motives, all right, and what he's going to do, and what Esau is about to do. It says, Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Okay? So guess what? Hey, everybody will be watching us, man. The angels and Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. And they're gonna commend, they're gonna commend his men. Alright, because guess what? You stand for some, hey, you're gonna stand by it, man. And guess what? We standing by Yahweh by Shem Shai. See, a lot of our a lot of our people, they don't stand by anything. That's why they're gonna fall for whatever Esau puts in front of them. All right, because they don't have no integrity. All right, it says, Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell that my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord that power thou hast seen. Okay, and that's the main thing, man. Hey, this is going to be a time where we're going to be faced with no food, no water. You know, everybody's buying with a uh, chip, brain implants. That's going to be the new thing in society, bro. But guess what? We ain't standing for that shit, bro. All right. You see what Esau's pushing? Hey, that's all biblical prophecy. All right. So when you go down, verse 16, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a M-A-R-K, a karagma, a chip in their right hand or in their foreheads. So when you go back right here, kids must have chips installed in their brains. Okay. So, hey, that's the chip in their forehead or in their hand. You're not going to be able to participate in society. All right. The World Economic Forum, hey, the elites, they move with craftiness, man. They're not going to tell you straight up. They're going to tell you in different ways, which it may seem like, oh, wow, you know, easy thing, you know. But look, this is how they want to do it, man. Let me see. You know, and that's, that's the main thing I want to touch upon you know, right here, because, you know, they want to wrap it to the things that's going on in society. But look, this is what they want to push. This is the elite's way of telling you, hey, we're going to put chips in foreheads and in hands. All right. He said he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. So they want to put a product code inside of you, man, to be able to buy or sell, to be able to participate in society, man. You see, this is the devil we speak of, man. All right. And if you take it, you will, you will die straight up. You will taste death. You will, you will taste of nuclear fire that the Lord is about to shoot upon America. Revelation 14 and 9. And a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, okay? Because, hey, woe to the people that trust into Egypt, as the scriptures say. All right, Lord willing, we grab that because, hey, this is what a lot of our people are going to be led down in your local Walmarts, whatever, you know, the military sets up and, and guess what? This is what this is. Hey, they're going to have set up lines to take the chip to be able to participate in society. It says, if any man worship the beast and his image, all right, and receive his mark in his forehead. Okay. So you see how the Lord said now in his forehead, or in his hand. It doesn't matter where you're getting it. Hand or forehead. You will be marked. Okay. When you read Ezekiel the ninth chapter. Okay. It tells you how the Lord has, has put a mark on those. You know that's the mark of exemption. 
<laughs> All right, he put the name on, on, on his elect for the mark of exemption. And guess what? When these people take this physical mark, all right, the Lord knows who's who to fucking destroy. Okay? Simple as that. It says, verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Okay, the righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone and in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the lamb. Okay, so guess what? The elect, Yahweh Shai and the angels. Okay, we'll see this, all right, and see the torment of the people that, that took this mark, all right, they will be burned up by fire, okay, and by these thermonuclear missiles, the hot flaming radiation, one missile is, uh, is hotter than the sun, bro, come on, bro, you got the sun melting right in your doorstep, you will melt, bro, instantly, okay, you will burn up, and it's not for the Lord to keep your spirit inside your body so imagine that man think about that this is the man this is esau's way of chipping the people bro okay now we're at, now we're at the door i wanted to go to uh isaiah 55 isaiah 55 and 11 so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So everything the Lord said in the beginning of time, it will come to pass, bro. Okay. These people that you see, hey, some of them may be lined up to take the chip because the Lord has led them to their death to get marked, to get judged. All right. See, people don't people don't fear the the Lord, bro. People want to be in comfortability. They want to be a, you know, but they don't know that the Lord is about is about to do something very sudden in this whole world. Okay, that people will fear. They will tremble. They're gonna to have to have an ultimatum of life and death. This is Revelation three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation. Okay, and hey, this is why we got to hold on fast to what we have. We got to hold on to this word, this doctrine. All right, do what the Lord commanded us to do. Because we want the Lord to keep us from the hour of temptation. To put the spirit on us to endure, to escape, to prevail. Okay, from the hour of temptation, we're going to see people, you know, you know, just a hey, flip because they can't they can't endure. We want the Lord to put the spirit of endurance and Lord willing, the Lord give us mercy. All right, because we, hey, we believe the Lord will feed us. All right. As the scriptures say, my servant shall eat. All right. But we're going to see people lining up, though. And that's scary. <laughs> because, hey, this is not, hey, it's, it's all about the Lord's will at the end of the day. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, and when you go into this word temptation, all right, it goes into the uh, a trial of a man's fidelity. All right, a trial of a man's faith. So hey, when when all comes down, when it when it all come down to the end, the Lord is trying everybody's faith. That's why the Lord says, Shall there be faith on earth? Shall there be faith on earth? Okay. It's gonna be little to none. Only the elect, the hopeful elect, and the believers will believe on Yahweh by Shim Yahshai because guess what? They've been stu uh studious and they've been, you know really preparing their souls and their minds for what's about to come versus these other people. That's why wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. 
if we know what's coming to ahead of time, we're going to be being prepared for it. Okay, it's not going to catch up, catch us off guard. We're going to know what the prop, what these prophecies are are saying. We're going to know. We're going to see it in real time. All right. We're going to know what to do next. Verse eleven. Behold, I come quickly. Hold thy fast, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right, and we read in Second Ezra how the Lord has was crowning those that stood stiffly for His name. So when this devil come down with his great wrath, pushing his NWO, pushing his agenda, guess what, man? We got to hold fast to what we have, man. Hold fast to thy garments. Hold fast to this crown. Okay. All this is just a test. Okay. We're warning you. We're telling you. Give them warning for me. Let's get that. Ezekiel the third chapter, man. See, the Lord is true. Everything the Lord says is true. All right. Let's see. This is uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And guess what? Who's watching? The old Falek, the believers. Okay. The Lord has set them up to be watchmen. Okay. The men, all right, the men first and foremost, because hey, the men is the ones that's that's teaching. Who's doing this work? All right. The Lord has set up the men to be watchmen unto the house of Israel. So we see these things, we're supposed to warn you, we're supposed to tell you. We're supposed to tell you, you know, what this is according to the Bible. Everything is linked back to the Bible, man. This is why the Bible is the number one selling book. This is why everything in the Bible will come to pass and has came to pass already. Alright, we living in the times where Yahweh Bashim Yashah will make his grand entrance. Okay, his grand return. This will be the lifetime of when Yahweh Shai makes his makes his glorious return, man. And the people will see it. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right, so we're warning the people. Okay, all right, and this is what it says. When I say unto the wicked, thou, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. And this is why these other camps, they're not warning you, bro. If they're not warning you, that's what you're gonna die, and you and guess what? The blood of you will be at will be at his hand. This is why you must follow the hundred percent doctrine. Follow the way Yahweh Shai is, is, uh, is already uh, established. Okay, there's only one way. The Lord is dealing with great millstone. Okay. But it says, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. OK, and guess what? We're warning you people. And, and guess what? Jake likes to wait until last minute. So, hey, last minute, you're going to see that hey, we, what we've been telling you is the truth. All right. But if you don't if you don't turn away from your wickedness. <clears throat> and change our ways guess what blood will be on you so let's get uh isaiah 30 isaiah 30 and 1 woe to the rebellious children saith yahweh that take counsel but not of me and not cover with a covering but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin and this is what our people do our people don't take counsel of the Lord. They take counsel of Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Okay? The Lord has led them to that, man. And guess what? They're going to, hey, call upon, call upon the gods and ask them to save you. Because this is what the Lord literally is going to do to you people, man. And it says, that walk to go down to Egypt. All right? And guess what? This is spiritual Egypt. America is spiritual Egypt. So guess what? Our people will walk down to, you know, your local governments, 
your local your local martial uh military says that walk down to go down to Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Okay. Your presidents. All right. It says, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh bear your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Okay. So guess what? You trust in Babylon. You're going to die with Babylon. Okay, you trust in Esau, you're going to die with Esau. Simple as that. Because Esau is going to deceive you into taking the chip. Okay, scriptures say never trust that enemy. But you see, hey, a lot of our people, two thirds of our people will trust the enemy. And surely they will die and taste nuclear fire. All right. So you see what's going on. Kids must have microchips installed in their brains. Okay, and that's key words. We measure the Tao the time diligently. Okay, through what? Prophecy. All right, so guess what? We see what the least trying to do. All right, and we tell you, do not take the chip or else you will die from the hands of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. So with that, Lord Williams, let's be edifying. We want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai by Shemuel Kakwadash. Till next time, I say Shalom.